track and ready to go racing and uh, Justin White will go from the pole in the 1X line with the X-15 to Tyler Bushy. Remember these two drivers a couple of weeks ago. Sparks flew between them. We'll keep our eye on them when we go green here next time by. Kevin Federley Jr. inside of row number two in the 57, the 75 of Eli Gilbert. Row three, Bruno Richard, four-time winner here at k m inside row three in the 72 with Blaine Nichols, the 22B. Row three, Michael Clark in the double zero C with a six of Steve Gilmore and Denny Gobro in car number 72G will complete the field. 20 laps is the distance. First feature of the night. And again, I want to thank the good folks at North Star Real Estate and Property Management for being on hand with us here this evening. And all the representatives that are here at KM tonight enjoying the program, much like we are here up in the tower. Speaking of enjoying the program, hopefully you folks on Dirt Track Digest TV are having a great time as well. And uh, hopefully you got up in time to get some more snacks, replenish the beverage cup, or fill the cooler, whatever you're doing. Hope there's no lineups at the bathroom where you're living at, at home because... Uh, that could be a long night. Speaking of... Green lights are on. 20 laps for the Fabco Dirt Car Pro Stocks, and we're underway. Justin White, just off of his second win of the season at Mohawk a week ago when we were off here on Friday night, picks up the lead over Tyler Bushy as we work in turn number three and a four down across the line for lap number one. It's going to be Justin White picking up the lead down the front straightaway. Tyler Bushy, Kevin Federley Jr., second and third. Good battle for fourth there between Eli Gilbert and Bruno Richard as they battle for possession just in front of them. Justin White is under attack from everybody. He's got Tyler Bushy to his outside. He's got Kevin Federley Jr. right there with him, though. No. Up off of turn number four, back down to the line one more time. Here comes Federley looking for the lead. Can't quite get it as Bushy's on that high side. Trying to make something happen as well. Into one and two. Good three-car battle for the race lead. Federley on the bottom. Bushy on the high side. Justin White through the middle. Trying to figure out a way by his Tyler Bushy on the high side. Here comes Eli Gilbert into the mix now. Bruno Richard's charging towards the front. Three wide for the lead. Coming right at you. It's speedy down the front straight away. It's Tyler Bushy to the lead at lap number three. Justin White, Kevin Federley Jr. at it for second and third right now. Richard has cleared the 75 of Gilbert down the back straightaway. As they work in turn number three and four, it is Tyler Bushy in control of the field. Down across the line for lap number four. Federley sneaks by Justin White. He'll pick up spot number two. White back to third. Bruno Richard in search of his fifth win of the season here and 16th overall feature win on the year. Trying to find the way by Justin White down the back straightaway. Top five doing the freight train thing in turn number three. Nose to tail through turn number four. Bushy washes wide up off the turn. Opens the door for Federley to try to get by. Can't quite get the one he was looking for at lamp number five. It is Tyler Bushy in control. X-15 leads the way over the 57 of Federley. Holding on to second is a Federley. Third is White. Back there fourth still is Bruno Richard. The 72 and the 75 of Eli Gilbert completes the top five. Three wide again. Nearly coming down the front straight away. Justin White took a peek to the inside lane. That didn't quite work as Bushy and Federley still run one and two with White right there to challenge from third. Bruno Richard watches the battle from the four spot with Eli Gilbert chasing him in fifth. Then it is Steve Gilmore in sixth. Blaine Nichols is seventh. Eighth is Denny Gobro and Michael Clark is ninth. In the meantime, top three continue their tussle for the lead down in front. Seven laps are complete in this one. Thirteen more to go. And Tyler Bushy trying to take his second feature win of the season. As Federley right there behind him. He washed wide up off the turn. And Justin White now trying to take advantage. He'll try to close in on the inside lane. Can't quite do it. Bruno Richard right there on the back doorstep. Should anything happen with the top three? And in the meantime, as I see that, Bruno Richard washes wide. Opens the door to try or to allow the 75 of Eli Gilbert to try to get through. Gilbert trying the inside lane. That didn't quite work. Richard will keep the number four spot down the back straight away. There's your top three, separated by about a couple of car lengths apiece as they work it off a of turn number four and back down to the line. Nine laps complete in this 20-lap contest, and Tyler Bushy still in control of it. Took the lead at lap number four and has not relinquished it since. But Kevin Federley Jr. is right there within striking distance to try to challenge down into turn number three and four. Justin White there for position number three with a 72 of Bruno Richard in fourth. Eli Gilbert has... 
beat it just a little bit. He runs in the five spot with Gilmore in sixth. Seventh is Govro. Eighth is Nichols. And Clark rounds out the field in ninth. Ten laps are complete in this one, and Tyler Bushy shows no signs of letting up. He's got the lead, but Federley right there with him, as is Justin White back there as the top three. Still knows the tail. White steps out of line, trying down on the bottom side for a second as he crossed the line at lap number 11. Nine laps left to go. Justin White is there looking for the runner-up spot. Can't quite get it done, though. White will settle into third as they hustle down the back straightaway with Richard in fourth. Federley trying to fend off Justin White. Bruno Richard watches from position number four as they come back down to the line. Now Justin White gets a better run down off of turn number four. He'll try to clear Federley into turn number one, but that outside lane through turns one and two is pretty good right now, and Federley trying to keep the 1X of White pinned down on that inside lane, and they make slight contact up off the corner. Opens the door for Bruno Richard to try to take advantage on the high side. Can't quite do it, though, as White will hold on to position number three, Richard to fourth. Does it come back down to the line? 13 up on the scoreboard with seven to go. Seven laps remain. Tyler Bushy still in control. He's opened up about four car lengths over Kevin Federley Jr., who has broken away from Justin White and Bruno Richard as we watch that battle here on Dirt Track Digest TV for position number three. Justin White has the three spot. Bruno Richard trying to take it away from him. Cross the line for lap number 14. Six more to go. Tyler Bushy looking for his second feature win of the season. 57 of Federley trying to deny him that one as he motored down the back straight away into turn number three and four. We'll have a handful from Mike LeClaire. Five laps left to go. Tyler Bushy trying to take home win number two of the season. Federley looking for his first of the year. But Justin White trying to fend off the 72 of Bruno Richard, who has been dominant here this season in that 72 ride, holding on to spot number three and four at the moment. Eli Gilbert still there in position number five. Then it's Steve Gilmore, Denny Govro, Blaine Nichols, and Michael Clark. Down to the line, four laps to go for Bushy. Watching the battle one more time here between Justin White and Bruno Richard. The defending track champion, White, and the 1X, trying to fend off the man that could be the track champion after this weekend. As they head down into turn number three and a four, we will have three laps left to go. Tyler Bushy trying to take it home. And now... Justin White running in third has allowed Eli Gilbert to close the gap and make it a three-car battle for third, fourth, and fifth right now. Justin White has third. Bruno Richard trying to take it away, but in the process now he's going to try to fend off Eli Gilbert who runs in the five spot. Two to go this time by for Tyler Bushy. Trying to get a win and get some momentum going into the uh, Pro Stock Series race tomorrow night at Lebanon Valley. As they head down the back straightaway, Kevin Federley Jr. right there within striking distance, but he's running out of time to try to catch Tyler Bushy as he brings it through turns three and four. The white flag is in the air. Final trip around for Tyler Bushy. Has had a solid season here at the Can-Am Speedway in 2022. He's down the back straightaway. He's got about four car lengths over Kevin Federley Jr. Into turn number three and four. Final time in the Hubleton, New York native. We'll set it up off the top side of corner number four. Win number two of the season for Tyler Bushy at Can-Am. Federley will cross in second. Justin White. Bruno Richard and Eli Gilbert, the top five. Denny Govro will get by Gilmore for sixth at the line. Gilmore to seventh. Eighth will be Blaine Nichols, and Michael Clark will finish up in ninth. Second win of the year. How about it for Tyler Bushy? Smell good. Hard to believe it's been almost three months since you've been to Victory Lane here. Mary, where in the heck have you been, by the way? You've been running good all year, just uh, haven't been to Victory Lane yet. Great job tonight. Yeah, we, uh, we've been struggling a little bit, and it feels like we're just missing that little piece, but hopefully uh, we're going in the right direction here. Track was looking pretty good tonight, really fast, and uh, are, you, are you surprised we're at this point of the night, uh, considering all the rain we had? Uh, yeah, we weren't sure exactly while we were watching the other heats if it was going to slicken off or not, and it didn't look like it was, so we uh, adjusted for a hammer down, and it worked out. It seemed like it, too, and, uh, of course, you know, uh, the Dirt Car Pro Stock Series getting back underway tomorrow. Are you going to the Valley tomorrow night to try to challenge those guys? Yep, tomorrow morning we're headed out, headed down. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, uh, you got a good start to the weekend. Anybody want to think in this car? Yeah, this is going to make the drive tomorrow a lot better. Uh, <laughs> i got to thank Mike from CNM. 
I know he's here. He bought us some new tires. All my guys, Aaron and Frank, all the work they do to this thing. My dad, my uncle John, CNN. Uh, I gotta look. I'm gonna forget. Custom Rustics. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to the boys, Dan Ferguson, all the guys in Discord, Royal J Acres, TRW, Horse Ridge Makles, Eminem Electric, uh, Peacemaker, Traps Garage, Kenches, uh, Romanic Notions Plus. Everybody. I'm sure I forgot somebody, but thank you to everybody. Well, I'll tell you what. Go to the Valley tomorrow. Kick their butt and uh, thank them all again tomorrow night. I hope so. All right, Tyler Bushy gets the job done here tonight, and. 